Hey everyone, it's Kneecap here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you, hopefully in great detail, how to obtain the hidden secret battle pet, Ball, who unlocks at least one other secret. There's a second part of the secret for sure that I'll also load a video for that uh, rewards a cosmetic belt waste of time that'll be coming shortly in the future. For this secret uh, pet acquisition, you're going to need some patience, perhaps a few goblin glider kits, although they are not 100% needed, a way to walk on water, whether it's a mount or an elixir water walking or a similar item. You'll also need some sort of swim speed increase. If you have one of the mounts that goes underwater, um, like uh, Kazumoth from the last expansion, that's plenty enough. Uh, this is probably the minimum amount of things you need. If you have an add-on like TomTom -Tom or another one to find your way around, that'll also make it easier for you. We're going to start here in Nazmir. If you have coordinates and you go to 4452, that's probably a good place to start. If you don't have coordinates, you're kind of going to the northern end of the of the center heart thing in the middle there. And you'll see this giant bridge. The The biggest key is just don't jump down too early before you, because it's very easy to get underneath the bridge. So just start as far north as you need to to make sure you don't fall underneath the bridge just to save yourself time. Um, the bridge itself is at 4654, the start of the bridge where I'm just at. So we're gonna make our way across the bridge. Um, I actually had to re, re uh, record this because I stupidly uh, got too excited and didn't record the beginning part. I didn't record till I was actually on the first note that starts it off. So you won't see the note there in this particular instance because um, like I said, I had to re-record it, but that part with me clicking the note is also in the video as well, just so you can know for sure. So the note is right here. It's on the first little thing to the left. So if you look over, you'll see like the left butt cheek of the Titan. So you can make this jump. You're gonna see me miss the jump, but I promise you made it. But this is where you might wanna use a goblin glider kit because you need to get up there, basically directly above where I'm at right now. You need a goblin, you can goblin glider there. That gets you there easily. Other than that, um, you, can, you can make the jump. I will point out that if you use a run speed increase, that will greatly help you as well. Um, like blacksmiths can make a, or a, a mount speed increase. Blacksmith, for example, in this expansion can make something on your mount that uh, increases your speed. That'll help a lot too. So you can see the note now. This is where I landed. I jumped from that same exact spot, but I landed um, on the actual uh, ledge there and was able to kind of move forward a little bit. Kind of see where I'm at on the map. It's on the you know top right part of the triangle, I guess you'd say. And uh, there we go. And then you can click the note from up there. You don't have to jump all the way down. And it says start at the beginning, and that's the beginning of this. Uh, long, uh, crazy adventure you're about to go on. Uh, like uh, You might not do this all in one sitting, you don't have to do it all in one sitting, but um, it's definitely long and uh, it'll take you some time. <laughs> so um, next we're gonna actually go to Broken Shore. So I, uh, me personally, I don't have my dollar on her, so now I'm excited to go to the bank and get it. Uh, you, you might, that might be helpful for you to have in your bag as well, um, just to have it, just to, again, just kind of teleport around a lot. Most of these are actually near on the Alliance continent, not the Horde continent. So Horde, you might have a little bit more issues than Alliance on this. Not necessarily fair there, but it is what it is, I guess. When we get back to Dalaran, and this is uh, Legion Dalaran, of course, we're gonna go to the Broken Shore. We're gonna go to Drak Falls Hideout. The coordinates are 3771, or around that bouts, if you are using coordinates. I'll show you. It's on the basically it's on the southwestern shore. If you if you if you uh, skirt the shoreline of Broken Shore, not the first island, but the actual uh, big island, uh, you'll find it no problem. It's a beach. It's actually where I was at the start of the video when I was doing kind of the opening, uh, because you might have to wait there for a while, and I'll get into that. But is this Drakthal's hideout? This is where uh, Kazumath uh, secret started. So that's why it started at the beginning. So this is the little beachhead here. I'm just kind of showing you it. So uh, Drakthal is standing over his table, unfortunately. So you cannot click on the pebble. You're gonna be clicking on pebbles for this whole thing. And the pebble is on the table and you cannot interact with it. There actually is a way to do it. I saw a gnome click it um, somehow. But uh, you cannot click it while he's standing there. Apparently there's also a different way to do it where if you, um, if you uh, use an invisibility potion, you can stand on top of him and like target through him but he has like a huge click box. So you have to wait for him to move. I had to wait for quite a while, um, but eventually uh, I, I came back and he did move. And you can see the pebble there on the table. It's the one that's a different color. It's the, and all the pebbles will look like this. It's the sandstone colored pebble. And then you just simply click on it. I'll scroll in and show you. Simply click on the pebble and there you go. That's the first pebble of many. 
So after the after this, we're actually going to go to Boralus, which is the Alliance city uh, in BFA here. We're going to go to Hook Point. The coordinates are forty nine forty. If you don't have coordinates, the best way to explain this is it's between on the map. Uh, it'll say Proudmoor and Ashvane Docks. It's between that. It's in that bay, and it's the brown square on the map. And I think I show you on the map as well, uh, or at least pop up the map, and maybe you can look at the brown square. I should be right next to it on the map. There you go. So if you look at directly in front of me on the map, there's a brown square. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be on the map. And you just kind of walk right in and you'll fall down a hole. And there you go. So this one is actually kind of easy to spot overall compared to some of them. Uh, it's not too dark in this cave, but it's just, it's kind of lit up amongst everything else. It's a different color than the ground. So it's not too hard to find. Now, nothing's going to pop up when you click these. The, only, the way you know for sure you clicked them is you can't click them again. So you'll uh, get that clicked. The next one, this is one of the most difficult ones. This is in Ateldazar and Zoldazar. So um, it's not actually in the instance, but it's to the side of the instance. So go ahead and make your way all the way up to the portal. And to the right of the portal, there'll be a little path. Now there's been a world quest up there. So you might've done that and kind of know this little path a little bit. And you, um, I think it might just be a horde quest as well that you go up there. So you're gonna head up this little path any little pause delays or because I had to edit the video, I, I had to stand still and make sure I was going the correct way a lot of times. And uh, there's no real good coordinates to use here, so you're just gonna have to kind of watch and, you know, kind of mimic where I'm going here. This is where the world quest is that I've done at least. And we're gonna make our way up. I actually find a treasure chest here. Kind of sidetracks me a little bit. I guess not quite right here. I would be tempted personally to jump off and explore these waterfalls. So the people who found this, I mean, hats off to them. That's something I should mention, and this is a good time to do it, really. It's not like I discovered this. I'm just trying to make a video that anybody can follow and get this done. Because sometimes, you know, people are a little bit more hasty. They're not worried about, you know, helping everyone else get it necessarily. Which is fine, because they're worried about solving other riddles. So, nothing wrong with that. You're gonna jump down on this waterfall, try not to fall down yet. <laughs> we are gonna fall down, just not quite yet. I'm trying not to jump too far off with my mount, taking a little longer there. And we're gonna hop down on these rocks, just rock on down. And now this is the really crazy part. I would have never thought, I mean, I might have tried to jump up there, but I just never would have thought this. So you're going to hop up here. It's supposedly easier to do without your mount, but I just did it with my mount. It's not a huge deal. You'll also possibly use a goblin glider on this one as well, especially if you don't have an immunity or a slow fall or heroic leap. I mean, there's a bunch of classes have a different way to do it. So as you're going up, you're just going to kind of take a right kind of halfway up there and there you go. You can kind of see going up a hill, you'll see a tree. Trees are the markers in a lot of these. So it's like a tr so you could technically turn right at that tree down there at the bottom and then go up to the next tree and you're following the trees. And you go all the way up. And this is this is just crazy that this place even exists to me. How do people find this stuff? I mean, I explore and I actually found one of these caves for this achievement or for this uh, pet, but nevertheless. So this is where you'd use the goblin glider, by the way, at the top there. You can glide down. It'll take quite a bit to glide all the way down, though. So even if you have an immunity, you might want to just uh, drop and fall at this tree at the bottom here or something. But I do show you that you can, um, after uh, at least part of the way, you can very slowly call down. It makes me think that you might be able to go down the whole thing as long as you can heal or eat and restore your health. Uh, I don't know that for sure. So have something prepared. Uh, that would be my warning to you. Again, down here we see a tree. Trees are the markers, basically. Very easy to spot cave for this one. So they make that part easy since it's so hard to get here, I guess. So in this cave, you'll see a bunch of mushrooms and stuff. I kind of couldn't find it at first myself. They are just small pebbles after all. But it's actually, I, I, most of them are in like back of the caves and stuff, but it's actually not in the back of the cave. It's by a tree. And it's by the first tree on the left when you come in uh, through the hole in the cave. So it's not that tree. There's this tree right here. So there's the entrance and it's this first tree or branch or wooden thing on the left. You can see the pebble lighting up there. 
and we'll click on that one and have that one done. Next, we're going to head back to the Alliance continent. So uh, kind of it kind of goes back and forth for a while, then a lot of them are in Alliance. This is, uh, I'm at Aramstan, so you're going to want to even, that's an Alliance place, of course. If you're Horde, just try to go to the north of Aramstan because it's literally like right here. It's technically called Gol Osigur, and it's, uh, the coordinates are at 3653, if that'll help you out. But we're, we're looking for that waterfall right down there. So just kind of sh showing you, you know, get up here if you're Horde, try to go around. Uh, the camp or just run through it. I doubt the guards will kill you on their own. And you hop down to this waterfall. I like to get off my mount when I go down waterfalls and uh, steep things like this because just just for the always chance that you overshoot something. So I, I go ahead and immunity down there. You could technically goblin glider or something if you like. You do need to jump into this cave apparently so I do mount up and jump into it. If you have this problem you can copy me as well here. And we're gonna mount up, and we're gonna jump right into that cave. This one's actually really easy to find because it's actually in the left eye socket of this effigy in the back. So, well, I mean, none of them are easy to spot necessarily, but it's uh, it's right there, right in the eye socket. All right. Next, we're gonna go back to the Horde Continent, and we're gonna go to Voldoon. You wanna go to Tortaka Refuge up in the northeast type area. And this is going to be our first introduction to a clatterback. The cave entrance is about 6321 for those of you using coordinates. Um, and if you just can't figure out how to get there anyways, either way, you're going to follow me where I go here. Showing you on the map. I try to show you on the map as much as I can. Um, I don't think I did it enough, frankly. But a clatterback, by the way, is just these things that will one-shot you. <laughs> so you'll, you'll get to see it right here. So again, trees are the markers. So there's a weird tree growing through the rocks right there. Um, down below, that's where we're going to be going. So from the flight path, you just hop up on these rocks like I did. You can just kind of jump down to that next platform. And it's right with this tree. So you just get close to this tree and you should fall right down in the hole. You see the different color there. Boom. That is a clatterback. If you get close to that, it will kill you. So we're not going to get close to that. <laughs> um, later on, we're going to probably encounter some more. And you're probably going to die to those. But that's okay because there's not much way to avoid it. The actual pebble for this one is right towards the front of the cave, so that way you don't have to touch the clatter back. It's behind this little rock here. I tried to turn up the brightness enough to see in this cave. It's pretty dark, but right there it is, behind this little rock. And then you have that pebble done. And now, uh, to keep the trend going for now, we're going to go back to Storm Song, or we're going to go back to the Lion's Continent to Storm Song Valley. Eventually. <laughs> There we go. So I'm actually up near the instance. I believe both factions have a flight path up here. Where we're going is 6511. There's an island in the northern part of the map that has mountains on it. It's like a bigger island. That's where we're headed. Um, for an easy, You can take whatever route you want to take to get there. I didn't show the whole run there because it's quite a bit of a run. But you're just going to that island in the northern part. Uh, basically straight north, a little bit west of, Storm, of uh, Shrine of the Storm. And here you see I'm on the southwestern beach. You can go right up this hill. This is just one entrance, by the way. There is actually other entrances to this cave system, but this one's the cave entrance is at 6511. So I'm trying to figure out how to get over there and kind of skirt that. And then uh, I kind of noticed all those trees right there and figured that's probably where the cave is. There are some uh, enemies in here, but they're not super strong by any means, so you shouldn't have any trouble with them. They're not like the clatterbacks. You're just going to have to kill them, deal with them, no matter what level you are, you know, whether you're. 110 somewhere between 110 and 120 they'll just be your level of course so you don't have to worry about that and uh, we'll be able to go into this cave and this one this the cave, the cave is a little bit bigger than a lot of the other ones and it's not super obvious if, if you were just looking on your own there'll be a couple more enemies in here as well now if you think this is annoying they have to kill a few things uh, the next one is probably going to make you quit doing this, <laughs> just, to, just to warn you if you think this is bad so far. There we go. Yeah, it looks like I have one more enemy to kill. It's actually in this room right here. So it's not the first pool of water. If you come in that entrance, it's the second pool of water. You see a wheelbarrow on the right side. That's actually where it's at. It's in the wheelbarrow. A pebble in there. There it 
is. I'm going to go ahead and click that pebble. And next we're going back to the Horde continent and we're going to go to Nazmir. For this one, you're going to need your water walking, water breathing if you can. You don't have to have water breathing. And some sort of swim speed. So I'm, I'm going to be using uh, a, a swimming mount, the Cosmic Mouth mount. Um, so that's what you're going to need to do. Uh, where you're actually going coordinate wise is 54 7 on the Xandalar map. What we're doing is we're when we're running there, we're going to the northern coast and we're just running out into the fatigue zone, which is why you need the water walking, some speed increase, get the get the uh, mount speed increase, uh, buy some of those hood things from the blacksmiths or whatever. And uh, yeah, you're gonna need water breathing helps too, but you don't really need it. You're gonna die of fatigue before you die of breath. So, and again, uh, it's 54 seven and I should point out that's on the Zandalar map. So after you get far enough out and you're on the sea, it goes to a whole Zandalar map. It's 54 seven at that point. It's not 54 seven in Nazmir. So you're gonna go on head on out. Now this might be hard to find without coordinates. I actually turned on my, I don't normally use coordinates. I don't have like a wayfinder TomTom -tom or anything. But I do have coordinates on and um, it's, it's almost necessary, frankly. The people who find these secrets are, use, uh, use these scan um, add-ons to a high degree and that's kind of who these are made for. So you're gonna hit the fatigue zone. There you can see me on the map a little bit. So you can kind of have a general idea where to go. Just go back and pause it there. I'm gonna hop on to my water mount. I actually die on this one, but I wanted to show you that you know you might die. I kind of forgot where it was at when I got down here. I kind of panicked because my fatigue was going so fast. But you're gonna see this ship down here, and this is gonna be a tight. You're gonna die most likely. And then you're just gonna have to take the res sickness. So even if you get it, you're probably gonna die. Um, unless you have like a warlock summon pending, or you can bubble hearth as a paladin. Uh, but you'd have to have some way like that to survive this. It's just too much otherwise. But it's on the left side of the ship. I actually forget that at first and go kind of scramble looking for it. But that'll give me an opportunity to kind of tell you more where it is. So on the back end of the ship, you'll see some people or dead bodies over there. Um, <laughs> that should have been my first clue. But over there, there is a uh, like a, almost like a stained glass window type thing on the back of it. And there's a skull and there's pebbles near the skull. And it's the second one from the left. If you see, I actually had a chance to get it. I could have went up and got it, but I didn't, I didn't click in my head and I go, oh crap. I need to go back up there and you see my health just click down and oh, I could have gotten it. I couldn't click on it fast enough because I couldn't zoom in. Uh, so here, here's me going again. This time I'm actually coming from the left side, um, from the west, and just going straight east. So it looked like it was a little bit less fatigue zone if I did this. You can try either method if you want, but I definitely wanted to show you that, just to show you that it, you know, it is possible. And as you can see, I'm doing this with res sickness. Fatigue just takes a percent of your health, I believe. So. It shouldn't really matter too much. So here I am getting closer. As I get there, the fatigue kicks in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bubble just so I can kind of show you guys better. And it's the second bubble from the left under the skull. I tried to hearth. I didn't quite make it. Uh, so I did die. I have to take rest sickness again. But that's going to happen. It can be it can be frustrating. And next we're going to actually head back to uh, the Alliance Continent and Boralis and Proudmore Keep. This one's actually kind of cool. So we just had a really fun, frustrate or a really hard, frustrating one. This one's a lot easier. For horde, you're just gonna have to navigate yourself in here, probably from the water, and we're gonna go into this maze. Now, uh, <laughs> there is one particular way you should probably go in, and this is just me kind of searching for it. The what makes this one fun is that there's actually a guard looking for these cadets, and the cadets are down in the in this uh, basement area playing Dungeons and Dragons, um, not you know not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of a funny little storyline, especially after you just got done dying possibly multiple times to fatigue. So if you take this outer ring here, you see a tree again. Trees are usually the markers here, so it kind of gives it away. Checked right there first. And you go around the tree, and there's the hole. You go right down in the hole. So we're gonna go down here. There they are playing Dungeons and Dragons. That's pretty cool. Now it's behind a barrel. This one did take me a little bit of time to find, even though I knew where it was at. Um, but it's behind a barrel. I, did, I was also checking them out, playing their game. But it's not behind that barrel. 
which kind of narrowed it a little bit. Wasn't behind that barrel. So there it is, you can barely see it. Luckily you click on these things from a little ways away too. You saw a flash right there, hopefully. And then I just, just for reference sake, I show you that it's just down the stairs and straight across right there. Now we at least stay in the Alliance Continent, so you don't have to go back and forth this time. And we're gonna go to Drustvar next. So I'm starting off at White Grove Chapel. We're going to Western Watch, which is the top left island or the northwest island of Drustvar. Now th this cave is interesting because I actually um, was one of the first people to find this cave. Now I can't claim that I was the first person to find it, but I know that I uh, definitely uh, gave these locations to the uh, seeker finding people because uh, they saw me talking about it and I on Twitter and I was able to give them the screenshots of it and everything the where it was at and everything so while I definitely probably wasn't the first person to find it I was one of the first people to find this one which was pretty cool so this is I, I consider this to be my cave so when you get to Western Watch you're gonna go up here the coordinates for for this by the way is 17.6 and I didn't say the coordinates of the previous one it's 37.80 I'm very sorry 17.6 coordinates for this one. To do this jump, best way I found is just to stand still right here and jump while holding forward. And then this is this one's kind of hard to find. It's not actually in the cave. So you jump on top if you want. It's not on the top either. So it's this one's just a little bit difficult to find. You actually have to hop down a little bit. You can fall all the way down like I did. And uh, now it's just now it's just a matter of actually finding it. So as I'm skirting, I'm just keeping my eyes peeled as much as I can. And there it is, moving my mouse over. If you can see it flashing right there, it's in the crack between the rock and the actual cave there. So it does, this one's definitely difficult. Again, luckily you can click them from pretty far away. So that's good. And uh, next, again, we, we're gonna keep this trend going and we're going to stay in uh, the Alliance Continent and we're gonna head to Tiergard Sound. Uh, specifically Kenning's Lodge. North of Kenning's Lodge is the way I'm going to show you how to go up the mountain. You do not have to go all the way up the mountain, although I do go too far up the mountain. Uh, but as far up as you go, you can always uh, go back down to where you need to be. The coordinates of this one are 7550. So here I am just Trying to get my bearings, show you where I'm at in the map. Should have scrolled in probably to show you a little bit better, but but you don't have to go up all this way. You can probably just keep going straight right at this point and be fine. But I was not quite sure at this point where it was at. I'll take this uh, time to also say the next two are also on the Alliance continent as well. And then the last one will be on the Horde continent before we actually go get the pet. Probably could have edited this all out, but I don't know. I like to show a little bit of the story of me finding it too, I guess, because it can be a pain in the butt. But if you hop down, you see a bunch of trees again. Kind of looks out of place. Look at all those trees in a cluster right there. That's how I found it, actually. I'm just like, that's got to be it. This one's interesting because uh, this one is, we saw the clatterback earlier or whatever it's called, and these things are going to absolutely destroy you in here most likely. A potion of invisibility is a great thing to use right here. kind of wanted to show you that you can probably get up here from the southern side too, but it definitely looked like a slightly difficult climb. If you're going for ease of climb, definitely go the way I went. So uh, you can use invisibility down here if you like. I kind of uh, very slowly tried to creep through. You cannot see them, so they just pop up at you if you get too close to where they are. So uh, you can you can stun them and stuff too, and that's good. So if you just pull one and you can click on it fast enough, you can stun it and get your pebble, but uh, you might pour, pull more than one. So I, I started off being extremely cautious and until I pull one and then I just make a break for it. So here I am making a break for it. It's it's under this rock. I, I know where it's at. I just can't quite get it. And uh, it's under the it's under a rock by that you know meat or blood or whatever it is there. And you'll be able to see that better shortly. So there's actually a spot that at least for me was safe to res as well. Um, so I can show you that too, and I will. Although the first time here, I actually just uh, I'm trying to spot it is 
what's going on here. I'm trying to spot the pebble because I still don't quite see it. It's actually underneath that rock. Um, it almost looks like it's part of the meat maybe. Or I just can't see it from this angle. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's underneath the rock. It flashed really quick on the screen. So here I am running back. Now I know exactly where it's at, so I'm gonna accept my res. There you can, now you can see it really good in the death screen. Go ahead and click it. Now you can see a clatterback res. So I tried to bubble hearth and I didn't quite get it off, unfortunately. There's the ugly beast. So it just destroys you goes back invisible and right here I sh I just I only did this just to show you look it looks like you can spawn right here and I imagine you can click the pebble from there so if you spawn there after you die I'm guessing you can do it you can probably stealth in or invisibility in it as well so the next two are both close to Boralus this one's to the east and the cave entrance is at 8019 it's actually up top um, if you're just at 8019 it could also look like it maybe it's at the bottom it's actually on top of a mountain so if you start on the east side of, of the water trading with market, you'll get to this little uh, area you can climb up. And it's not this cave. <laughs> you'll see that cave and you'll be like, yeah, is that it? Nope, it's, it's in a waterfall, so. I, I was determined that it would be in this cave. Unfortunately, it was not. So we need to figure out how to get on top of this mountain. I read that this was a difficult climb. There's the waterfall, so I figured that out. Um, but this, it wasn't that bad. I mean, perhaps I just found the easiest way, but it was not that bad of a climb. There's actually like almost a little path right there as long as you jump on it correctly. Kind of takes you up here, get a little bit stuck, but skirt the left, get on up there. We're going to go over to the waterfall. Again, uh, I like to get off my mount when I jump down things, it's just a little bit safer. So we're gonna hop on down. And it's actually on the, I believe the second fall down. I definitely was trying to see if it was in this one, but I believe it's the second fall down where it is. So you have to jump down twice. Um, for this one, you have to kind of fall into the cave almost. So you do have to be a little bit careful. I think if you fall too far, I'm not sure if you'll be able to get in and you'll have to climb up again and try again. I managed to do it my first time, so it can't be too hard. Okay, so I'm trying to stay on the edge. I'm still determined that the cave is there. <laughs> okay, it's clearly not. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead, hop down. And I landed like on a rock. I think that was a good thing. And then as I kept moving forward, I actually was able to fall into the cave. And you'll see why that's important because I'll show you when I look up here. This is a big rock. You're not getting, you know, you're not jumping on top of that rock on your own. So uh, fall in the cave if you can. Maybe there's a, like a rock you can jump on and get into it. I'm not sure. But just be safe and hug the waterfall as tight as you can. So we're going to come in here. This one's one of the harder ones to click. It's really dark in this cave. It's actually behind a scroll in the pillar directly in front of me. You can only really see it from the back behind the scroll. And even then you can barely see it. You can see it right there, just barely sticking out. There, glowing, you can see it better. From the front, can't really see it. Although there are pebbles kind of showing you where it is, like a path almost, I guess. I never noticed that before. And then we'll get that one. The next one is also uh, next to Boralus. It's to the west, though, of Boralus this time. Here I'm just showing you. You can't really get out of this cave, so you're going to have to use a hearth or something to get out. So here I am heading west of Boralus. And uh, the coordinates are 1082. 1082. You're going to get down to this algae, and at this point, you're just going to try to find where you are. Again, if you ever are, um, if you are just completely confused where I'm at necessarily, um, and you're not using the coordinates, go ahead and just pause the game when I bring up my map, uh, or pause, pause the video, I should say, and that should help you kind of coordinate where you are a little bit better. This stone's actually in the front right here. Um, it's under some algae. 
but you know there's a lot of algae here so i wasn't sure what was that right at first but it's in the front right this one's uh good because you can just click right through the algae so i don't know if i ever even actually see it but as you move your mouse over you'll be able to kind of identify where it's at as it glows and you can click it right through the algae so that's nice we got that one And next, this is going to be the craziest one, but not the hardest one. I think the, the one where you die of fatigue is the hardest one. But uh, next, we're going to go to Valdoon, and the coordinates are 5510, again on the Zandalar map, like the, like the other one. So we're going to just start heading on, uh, heading on north. Uh, basically, uh, to kind of give you some map help with it, if you look at Broken Isles on the map and where the, the Watchers area is, or Vault of the Wardens instance, that, that island, it's directly south of that island and almost directly in the middle of Broken Isles and Zandalar. There's actually a line on the map, like a wave line or whatever they are, that's almost in the middle of it. It's basically on that line and directly south of Vault of the Wardens or the Watcher's Island in Broken Isles. That's probably the best map cue I can give you. Other than that, it's 5510 on the Zandalar map. This is kind of interesting because you're just trucking out here with your fatigue. You need your water walking, um, however you can get it. You need some maybe some speed increase, although I think you make it without it for this particular one. And you're just going to be running, and you're like, well, I hope I get there soon, right? <laughs> because what happens is you actually hit a spot, a sweet spot, to where the fatigue goes away, and you're back into, like, chartable water waters, I guess you could say. And there we go, the fatigue's coming up. There's somebody else that must have just hit there. Now, where I'm at currently, I'm a little bit too far west. So wherever I just was on the map there, it's a little bit too far west. I take a dive down and take a look around, but uh, it's clear that it's not there, so I come back up. I think I actually died once uh, looking around as well, so I think I took rest sickness on this one as well. Um, basically, what you can do is, once you hit the zone where your fatigue goes away, if you go all the way as far north as you can, until you're going to hit fatigue again, that's good because you're going to have to go back into the fatigue a little bit to get this. So that's as far north as you need to go is um, where that is. So there I am on the map. So I'm looking east and you need to go a little bit further east. Um, and it, the actual thing's closer to that line than what I am, but uh, we have to swim out a little bit into the water to get there into the fatigue so kind of a mini map cue is so if you i don't know if you can tell on the screen or not but on my mini map there's dark water and light water as you go east from where i just previously was you'll get to a spot where it's almost like a circle on the mini map and that's where you want to go down at on the circle on the mini map um and it's the northern end of it of course and you're just going to scale, scale straight down and it'll be a, just like this flat looking rock just as you see and then all of a sudden you'll see these jagged rocks sticking out slate or shale or whatever kind of i don't know i'm not a geologist but these rocks sticking out and then there'll be a hole in the rocks and this is the last one and you can actually drop your fatigue and breath once you find this so that's good you don't have to die for this one there we go so you can go up here and get your breath you're out of fatigue now <laughs> on top of this island here or this little place inside the cave there's actually like a bajillion pebbles so whoever first found this probably thought they had to search through all these pebbles for the correct one luckily that's not the case it's actually at the front of the cave so it's kind of like a little trick they did on you there this one's a little bit hard to spot i suppose the good thing is that you might there might be other people there doing it as well so that kind of gives it away a little bit too but there it is it's sitting there on the black so it's a little bit of a contrast in colors there and this one gives you a hint and the hint is basically telling you to go to Frostfire ridge in draenor so if you're horde that's pretty close if you're alliance it's not super close that's fine uh, alliance definitely had the benefit on this one so i'm going to my bank and getting my garrison hearthstone just showed you the same thing getting my dollar on hearthstone quickest way to get there and since i'm alliance what i do is i actually i just doing all this you know if you're doing this all in one sitting you might need to take a little break um i just took the flight path the alliance flight path to frostfire ridge so from there i'm flying to colossal fall the coordinates are 6222 
Colossal's Fall. And at this point, this is where it gets a little bit interesting because you might need some help for this. If you have the Una pet, U-U-N-A, um, it's like a little girl, and you have completed the entire quest line, then you are fine and you're good to go. Other than that, you'll have to wait for somebody to ha that has it to weaken the goat. So the goat spawns here because you did, the goat spawns there for you because you did all these other parts. So here I'm sh showing you, this thing is impossible to beat. It'll one shot every single thing you have, just kills it all. When somebody summons an Una that they completed the quest line, so this person has theirs, but they didn't do the quest line with it. So it's not doing anything to weaken the goat. So you need to have someone um, who has done the quest line. So you can ask for help in trade chat. You can ask for help in the dis uh, the secret finding discord. There might just be somebody there already doing it, find a group for it, but you will need to do this. This is very unfortunate because I mean, I don't have Luna at all, let alone the quest line. So luckily, I think I only waited five minutes personally. I saw people asking on, on the wild secret finding discord and um, someone, I don't know if someone came from that to help or if just someone happened to come that had it. Uh, but there's no other way to do it without it really and you what you do is you actually have to kill the goat um, instead of uh, like trying to actually capture it ever you kill the goat so I again I had to wait a while it's, it's this is an unfortunate part of it because it might stall you out a little bit because you might have to find a group or whatever to do it if there's nobody else here um, there might just be some nice people that are just logged off there uh, to help people because there are there are those types of people and especially in the secret finding community so that can be good as well. So as long as you ask for help, you might get the help. So here I am waiting, waiting, waiting. I don't... And uh, what the heck? There we go. So, sorry for that long pause there, but I saw somebody summon the pet because it talked slash s like said a, said something. So now when you go to fight Baal, it's really, really hurt or really, really low health and really, really weak. So you can just kind of destroy it really fast and you, you just have to kill it. So I just show you, anything can kill it. Some people said they killed it with like low level stuff. It becomes extremely weak from being excessively powerful. And there we go. All right, so now when it's dead, watch it. It's gonna pop into your bag. You're gonna have an item to use and it's gonna teach you the pet. So now it'll be in your pet journal. If you can find it, there you go. You can summon it out and there you go. It'll say the thing to you too. What that says is seek knowledge. So what we know as of now is that we're gonna, uh, we can now get the waste of time belt that's what is known as of this video. And I'm going to be doing a video on how to obtain the Wasted Time Belt as well. If you watched this video and it helped you, please subscribe, I'd appreciate that very much. Other than that, you can like, comment, share, all those kind of things. All those things are helpful. All those things are appreciated. Again, I'll have the Waste of Time video uh, coming out shortly after this one, either the next day or so. And uh, everybody, have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and please subscribe below. You can catch my gaming thoughts and activities on Twitter at Real Kneecap. And you can also find me playing live on Twitch at Kneecap Killa. Hopefully I'll see you soon. And of course, everybody have a good one.